Power 93.7 WBLK. I'm Yasmin Young inside the 2 to 6 Takeover. As we are going through these times due to the coronavirus, I definitely want to keep you posted and keep you connected with what's happening right here in Western New York because not only does it affect your daily life, it affects mine. And I want to know as well, I know that the libraries are closed through Tuesday, March 31st. As of now, that could change as we live in this world right now where everything is changing on a day-to-day basis. But one great thing about the libraries and the time in which we live is that there are still resources available online. Mary Jean Jakubowski, one of my favorite people. I got two favorite people at the Central Library and she is half of them. Welcome. Thank you, Yasmin. Thank you for having me. Of course. And you're on speakerphone because you guys are being safe and you don't want to share the headset or the handset just to be on the safe side. That's right. We are taking social distancing and all of the other precautions very seriously. Even though our library buildings are closed, those of us who are in are absolutely abiding by the guidelines that have been given. I love it. And I have no, usually I say if you're on speakerphone, take me off, but I'm going to let it ride because it's very important at this time. Also important, Mary Jean, is that people, even though they can't come into the libraries, they still can access information on you all's website. So let's talk about some of the things that you have available online. Sure, absolutely. And we always say our doors may be closed, but our services in some capacity will always be open. And that is because our our website at www.buffalolib.org is always open with a multitude of resources for our constituents to utilize. And let me tell you, we have all kinds of things. We have online databases. We have downloadable e-books. We have downloadable audio books. We have information for children. We have information for seniors and information for teens. And I'm not just talking about, the, you know, the COVID-19 information that we are regularly updating and posting. We also have other information and resources as well. We also have, um, we're looking at some alternative ways to be providing services, and we will ask people to just watch our website for those notifications. Um, And I am very excited. I just saw one of our wonderful librarians of our Grand Island Library doing a FaceTime Live story time. So we've got lots of things still going on for the residents of Erie County and beyond. And just to touch on some of those things, I see the links that uh, you all sent me, tax filing information, which is important, 2020 census, that's still going on. And And very important that we all get counted, absolutely. And you also have early literacy resources and literacy materials for kids. So that's great for parents who are probably going crazy right now with the kids at home. That might be something to give them, you know, something to read and something to take their mind off of what's happening right now. And of course, we've got so many students that are in college or, you know, university and they're not able to go to classes and they're like, I can't get into the library. I got to do, you know, I still have to do my work. So this is perfect for them. Absolutely. You know, those online resources are something that we absolutely encourage people to take a look at. If somebody does have a question, they most certainly can call myself. They can call Joy. Those of us in administration are are here and we are working to, you know, answer questions that people might have. And we're also doing that electronically from the website. So we do ask that people um, can give us a call. And as I said, we are exploring options and ways that we can open up additional services. And when I say open up, I am talking about virtual services, but we are exploring ways that we can open up and expand the services that we have as of this moment today. And we will post all of that information on our website. And you, Yasmin, will be one of the first people to be made aware because we are so grateful that you helped us to spread the word of all the great things our libraries are doing. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Mary Jean. Give out your uh, web address one more time. Absolutely. So our web address is www.buffalolib.org. That's www.bufsalolib.org. All right. And if you missed it, I've got it on our website as well as the various resources that you can access through their library's website. Thank you, Mary Jean. Thank you, Joy. You all be well. Thank you. You too. And we hope everyone stays well and safe. Take care.